is has those type of lyrics. Has a lyric mm-hmm. where she just gets a guy, gets what he is, but she has this this infinite security. Boy, mm. that's a song of security. I got it, but I've never. Now some songs. You don't know the, you don't the know lyrics. lyrics of it. Like my girl was hipping me to like how deep um, Gnarls Barkley's crazy is. I mm. remember when, like all we know is you think I'm crazy, but it's a deep song about some guy delving into psychosis, mm. but he really don't think he is. Everybody else thinks he is. It's, it's a it's a deep song, and you don't know that until you like, well, oh shit, the lyrics. the lyrics, like upside down. All I know is upside down. Oh, the lyrics. Mm. Boy, turn me. Yeah. That's all I know. But, yeah. I, but I wait don't... till you hear it. Wait till you right, hear it. Gonna... And there's another one that uh, when we were in high school came out. Guy, um, remember "Piece of My Love." You can have a piece of my love. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He was pretty yeah. Cool. Yeah. But see, it don't count. If the guy, when a nigga doing, says, yeah. "I just want a little pussy," <laughs> it's when a girl goes, "I'll take a little." Yes, dick. but he's telling her. My he's love. telling her straight up from the get go. Which we, is, uh, which but we was, do that all the time. Yeah, we just rap, but they don't know that. That's we what we gotta tell them. They all gotta, the, don't know that. All the the the, the, the lyrics, like, and we gotta do that on another show. Yeah, is really investigate lyrics like mm. that. That's a good idea. I will start looking you, for songs. And you can't find. I defy you to find a song past 1999 that's that. Humble as a girl being that confident. That's a sexy song, dude. Yeah, that Prince song, don't count, niggas. <laughs> Prince don't count. And <laughs> hey, we gonna go to um real quick. We ready to go with some calls? Um, Michelle in uh in Connecticut uh likes sniffing cock and I. Uh oh, Michelle. Yeah. Hi. Do you like you like sniffing cock, pumpkin? I, I do. Okay, well, go ahead. <laughs> well, I don't think it's a bad thing, though. I well, mean, no, I don't. <laughs> sniffing cock is always good. Now, now, you sniff cock. Why? Like, what is your well, purpose? It started with my boyfriend. He had axe on, and that drives me up a fucking wall. And he put Wait it a minute, bitch. Are you doing talking an about a commercial, commercial? <laughs> where you no, knock down no. shit? It, you, axe really... <laughs> wait, axe really has a good effect on the... <laughs> Wait a minute. Axe is really smells good like that? Axe and Dolce and Gabbana make a fucking woman go nuts. Now he sprays it where by the uh where the hairline is, by the by he, he just it started he sprayed it like on his jeans. So I was just we were hot and heavy one night, so I decided that I was just gonna like go down and I started to smell and I was like, I liked what I smelled. So, so you, now so it says you like sniffing just cock in general, or you like sniffing cock? your boyfriend's cock with axe on it? Yeah, like, no, now, like, if somebody smells good, I have to be like, can I sniff your cock? Oh, so this is like, like a cock sniff. I think that you're, you have it's like a little good, fetish now. It's a fetish now. Now, if you have, like, good cologne on and I smell it, I have to smell your cock. Does he have to have co- uh, cologne on his cock to, to, to no, be if good he, with if you? He just, no, if he smells good, I'll just go up to him and be like, can I smell your cock? And most of them look at me like I'm a fucking retard, but then I get down there and I smell their cock, and if I like it, it's fucking good. I like it. Uh, all right, <laughs> you know? I don't like to be asked for my I cock like, to be smelled. Good for me. Well, the moral of the story is, thank you for calling you cock sniffing whore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, call it what you will, but Hey, no, I say that with love, punk. fucking smell your dick. No, I don't say that with hatred at all. I say That's that a compliment. you. Thank you. on your dick, I'll come on over and I'll fucking smell it. <laughs> oh, she don't know the language. All right, well, all right. Thank you, Michelle. You <laughs> dick sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> And if you put cologne on your dick, it burns. It does. Yeah. I would hope I she just meant the pubis area. Ah, she... Pubis. Yeah, the pubis. Drew being technical. All right. <laughs> That's a Jimmy thing. <laughs> the pubis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rob in New York. We're going to fly through some calls. Rob. Yo, what's up, Patrice? How are you, sir? Uh, all right, bro. You're kicking ass out there, man. Thank you, man. I just want to say, it's hard to follow up after the sniff cock and the bitch that sniffs cock, but... Uh, yeah, whatever. Man. I agree with everything you say. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm a white dude, but I, I have the same philosophy as you do. As far as, you know, they, I got I to gotta have them love me first. And they don't understand that. They're like, you know... Well, they, they want gonna, you to bend over back, backwards. And they're gonna love you first there. anyway, though. That's the thing. That's the na- that's the natural. Go- that's the natural. Na- that's the that's the progression of it. Is because what we have to give for what we want is is much more than they have to give for what they want. Like, and that's, they don't even give. I mean, that, you, they're gonna. It's, it's redundant to say you got to give them to fall in love with you first. Any guy that falls in love with a woman first really is. It has low self-esteem, and all he 
he's having trouble getting pussy, and it's it's the idea of getting pussy that's making him go, I'm just going to love her because I can't get no other pussy. But no guy falls in love with a woman for her personality because we really don't give a shit. We don't give a shit if you can't read. We don't give a shit if you don't have a job. We don't give a shit if you got seven kids. We don't care we, we because we'll fuck a girl. If a, if a guy goes, baby, I got three kids, she goes, oh, my God. If a guy, if a, if a woman goes, I got three kids, he goes, well, oh, good. That means you are fucking. They, are they sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> well, was, are they, they adopted? The <laughs> they not adopted? Well, shit, nigga. You, what she's time fucking. are you putting them to bed? And then love is a thing that sneaks up on guys where we just keep a chick around yeah, so long that you go, this a is, habit. she's a trooper, and she just becomes a, a yeah, a habit. We're, we're, we're creatures of habit and, and just do yeah, time and, and if you fall in love with a, a bitch first she she has no respect for you nine, nine times out of ten you watch a guy he falls in love the girl loses respect for him they feel something's wrong this guy ain't right something's wrong and they kick him to the curb no you ruined the challenge at that point <laughs> it's absolutely That's true right. man and it sounds it, off. it sounds fucked up to women but but you gotta understand when a guy meets you think about what goes on think about it, it's like <clears throat> he's at it, he's on he's doing he's put his best foot forward he's like how he's being respectful how are you you know hey yeah, blah, he's blah. working for the pussy he's working yeah. he's working and they you know he's working but then what happens is you're starting to feel <clears throat> the thing here's the thing a woman needs to like you to fuck you like she went she, the, the thing that I'm giving a woman to to like me is the is the same thing I'm giving her to, to want to fuck me. Yeah. To want to have sex with me is the same thing. Like so, she's like, oh, he's so attractive, right, he's right. so set. I want to fuck him and I want to be with him. But a guy, he wants to fuck you first, and then it's like, okay, I'll keep fucking you, and then he goes, Do I, like I think I want to be with her. Mm-hmm. You know, let me right. let me let if me she does the right thing. Over. Yeah, if she does the right thing. Then you fall in love with her. Yeah, well, dude, well, he's, a, he, he's funny shit. <laughs> Rob's like, yeah, you did you do the right thing, and this bitch loves you. I love you too, I think. He's about to say that. Like I love you too, I think. All right, hey, Rob, thanks for calling, man. Hey, uh, who's this? Uh, Dustin, Arizona. Dustin. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? I got, okay, here's, I, I'm just getting frustrated. I've been married seven years. Yes. And I finally talked the wife into letting me sort of have a threesome. Mm-hmm. We're all three of us naked. All she wanted to do was kiss the other girl, eat the other girl. And I couldn't touch her. I couldn't do anything. I was just wondering if that's sort of in the right direction or is yeah, it? Yes, yes, yes. Let it, don't be selfish. I know it's hardcore, dude. <laughs> dude I know it, you want to just become a serial killer and yes. just kill all the room and naked bitches and you just sitting there. I know you want to do it, but here's... Dude, the rules. you gotta Three understand, dude, that the girls run it. When it's you and two women, y'all, they run the show. Just don't be a cock blocker until eventually you, Ooh, they can't help it, in. dude. They'll if one of in. them likes dick, that's all you gotta do. I'm t- me and my girl did one a couple of weeks. The, I'm telling you, the other chick was figuring out how to put two bullets in the back of my head to get rid of me because <laughs> she wanted my girl. And I and I'm sitting there comfortable like ah eh, okay cool hey I'll just stand outside the room and blah 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 but I know that when it's time nigga you they gotta ante up she's not especially your wife see here's the thing it's not the other bitch's fault it's your wife your wife got y'all gotta be soldiers together man y'all gotta work this out you have to go in and touch your wife and because the other chick is going to do anything your wife do so what's going to happen is you come in and she brings you in you start kissing on your wife you start licking her up and 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 the eventually wife is, the wife is the liaison <clears throat> eventually your your wife is going to start moving that chick in the direction of your balls trust me D- let them do what they're doing it is man yeah. let the girls run it i know you mad i know it's like oh two naked girls this is you know, because a lot of guys don't get the experience of that. But I'm telling you, dude, just just, just jerk off on the side. Have your wife. Just tell your wife, look, show me a little something. And then after you, one of them comes, then you kind of got to make the other one come. And then naturally a woman's going to want to do you. Then they're going to want to make you come. Just have them lick both of your nipples. That's what I do. I'm, I'm like, I just get stereo nipple licks, man. That's what I do. I love it. But, dude, I understand and your frustration. I understand it. Be patient. Let them yeah, come to don't you. Don't be too anxious. I, he hung his phone. I understand. And listen, listen, if you're still there, understand that you cannot be selfish in this matter, man. Let the girls run it because it's almost like, I'm trying to give an example. You're of the dick like, in the room. It's, it's like, you got to be um, the dick in the room. 
It's like, you know how you go somewhere, you go to the movies, and you just go, I'm just going to watch the movies, but there's the popcorn stand. And so the movie people, they, the, the popcorn's $10 and everything's so expensive. Right. But people know innately, it's something about... It's something about when you go to the movies, you got to get some goobers. You got to get some. So if you go there and your wife is going there with the intent purposes of being with another girl and she wants to muscle you out, trust me, if you just stay, keep your dick hovering around <laughs> like the aliens from Independence Day, just in the stratosphere, <laughs> let your balls break off and, <laughs> and float. You know how they go, uh, sir, um, the other one stopped, but there's uh, two more uh, balls floating around in the atmosphere. Let your balls float around in the atmosphere, but don't force it to happen, dude. I'm telling you, they can't help it. Your yeah. dick is like goobers at the movie theater. They got to get nobody, some. And nobody goes to the movies <laughs> for popcorn. <laughs> they go for the movie first. You end up getting popcorn. Ah, you want some popcorn? Yeah, give me a popcorn. That's what your dick is in that situation. Your dick is just, ah, popcorn. So don't be, this is what I'm saying, ego. Today's lesson is ego, nigga. Don't have it. Just let it go. Let them girls, listen, How put it this way. How exciting is it to watch uh, lesbian porn? You know, you watch two sexy women go at it. You sit there and you beat off. You don't get mad if they don't say, wait a minute. Wait, I think what's, there's a guy it? watching. <laughs> Come here to the TV. You go like, what the fuck? Just, it, just know that all your senses, you got, you can smell it happening. You get, it's your sheets. It's your bed. It's like, wow. It's just, let it happen, dude. Let what's, it happen. The, the three rules of threesomes. Luke on one. Let your girl <laughs> set it up. Let your girl set. This nigga girl, know. Let your girl set it up. Don't be too anxious. About how, just don't be too excited about who she picked. <laughs> and don't fuck the other bitch and don't when she's not looking. <laughs> and don't fuck the bitch after the threesome. <laughs> don't, don't spoon the other bitch and tell your girl to go in the bathroom. <laughs> you can't love the other bitch. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, 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 let's go to, uh, oh, let's go to my boy Jerry, man. Damn. Jerry. Yo. How you doing, man? Hey, what's up, man? You gotta, you gotta come in, dude, one of these days, man, and hang. Is this the man? Yeah, I know. This is my boy from Kinetic. This oh, is yeah, dude. This, this is, is dude. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah I'm living the life. You should. You gotta come in one of these days with the with the family. That's what we call it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta come in with the family, man. Jerry Big Love. <laughs> <laughs> Big Love Jerry. <laughs> what's going on, man? Was you? Did y'all do something today? Oh, you know what I want to ask you, Jerry. I, 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 do you get? Do you? Does it? Is it as um? Is it is it as sexually fulfilling after a while? Not as there. Like, do you always feel like, oh, it's two women in my bed, or it's just like it's it's almost like having sex with one now? Um. Yeah. yeah you understand like the question? You understand sexual, what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying. Um. Yeah, it's kind of like having sex with one. You gotta. I mean, I'm I'm the true pimp though, Patrice. I'm I'm I'm, I'm still looking. You know, I'm still getting some on the side, even though I got two women living in the house. <laughs> this nigga here. He, but listen, you got to understand, it's all Jerry, you got to understand that he's living his, I don't even want to call it a fantasy. It's its in guys. You got to understand, I, nature, I don't believe nature to make mistakes. I don't believe it makes mistakes. I think that what happens is what's supposed to happen. Now, I believe that if you're born, the fact that men are born, and I think the ratio, I think the ratio is four to one, five to one, or something crazy like that. Yeah. It means that it's that means all guys possi are supposed to fuck five women. Because <laughs> we we're here to consummate and make kids. If if it was vice versa and it was five guys to one woman, nigga, nobody be getting fucked. It'd be a lot of kidnappings, a lot of wars with each other, like pussy wars, straight up, fuck Iraq and all that. <laughs> it's just like we're gonna gladiate. Over some ass, right. and and we in the winter gets this chick who's probably gonna be locked up in a cage, <laughs> hoping that a, a a gentleman wins, and and not that nigga missing uh missing one eye, you know what I'm saying? And what happens is I think that the fact is that Jerry can. I always tell my girl I think I'm a good enough man to be with, you know, it's work to be with three girls. Jerry, it's work though, ain't it? I don't think it's work for Jerry. Yes. What's that? I mean, just it's to, to keep to it up. with the to keep it up to maintain it to maintain the situation. I mean, it's, um, you're still dealing with two women. You're still yeah, you have to be with on two guard with two women. But yeah, I think one. I think one is a lot more submissive. I mean, even even if they're submissive, you're still talking about 
being that you know apparently he is this strong dude that makes all right, wait, him let's post. ask him what's the toughest part of it all Jerry what's the toughest part of it the toughest part of it to, like the thing the thing that's <laughs> not the it's not it's not pimp it's like like I Emotionally, like to say the, I like to say the word pimp but it's, it's tough to pimp a girl that you care about it's tough to be hard on her all the time because you you do want to take care. That's another thing about us. We are providers. We want to take care of our family and take care of the woman we love. But the toughest thing about being with two women as your woman, what's what is the hardest part of that? The hardest part is finding time for just me. You know. So, so, so wait a minute though. So what's that mean? Like you you have to still even though you living in this fantasy world that we all love, you live in this world of of fucking two women and one lives with you. You still have to like curl up and watch a movie or it's work by yeah. yourself. It's work. He's you still gotta, have yeah. to be lovey dovey. Yeah, you still got to yeah. maintain. Oh yeah. Shit, man. Because I'm thinking <laughs> the only way to do it is like one is lovey dovey and the yeah. other one is. But see, he's uh, he, he, no, no, Jerry. How long has this been going on? Uh, ten years. So t- see what I'm saying? He, Holy shit. This is this is two of his women. He has to be and emotional. And you got wrong. Wait a minute, nigga. You trying to find another bitch? Yeah, yeah, no wonder you ain't got no time to yourself. Which goes to That's show he you, does. he loves these two women and he still needs side pussy. It's, yeah. <laughs> side pussy is, ladies, stop being so defensive about stop side booty. Yeah. <laughs> I personally last last night I got side yeah. pussy. You got last night? Last night. Like, uh, let me ask you, do they know? Yeah. Oh I, I sent them downstairs to go watch a movie together. And I said, I'm getting this girl coming over. And you we're going upstairs in my bedroom. If I was a square, I go. What are you doing? This is what squares are thinking. Jerry, you, he's probably he's probably abusive, and he has a gun on both of them. <laughs> but it's mental. Yeah. He explains it, and he living it. It's hard to live how you want to live, dude. But once you do, it's beautiful. Yeah, I don't think there's nothing wrong baby. with that because that's three women. He's still got two more. And again, <clears throat> I say this in my act. Not only do I have five who are naturally born with me, I have homosexuals five. I have dead motherfuckers retarded five. Niggas. I have retarded niggas five. I have niggas in jails five. I have married guys who don't cheat five. I have fucking the niggas who's in Iraq now is five, and I'm holding them off till they get back. I have uh, fucking... It's like 50 to 1. It's, it's a lot of women yeah. who are having trouble getting a guy. So, okay, back to the just be good to me shit. What am I going to do? My girl got me. So what about the other 10 that are alone? But see, I think that women, for the the nature of who we are, every day you walk outside and there's a new guy that's trying to fuck you. He, they're like, hey, baby, what's up? What you doing? And, and you go, <laughs> no, thank you. You're all day used to rejecting men. So all day long you rejecting 10 men, which makes you think that there's 10 available motherfuckers out there. It ain't. I got a girl. And I'm still going, hey, baby, that's just what you are. When I talk to you in the street, you just, I just got my human resources department open. Like, I got my secretary that I need for my company, but at the same time, I got to always put out applications. Just in case this bitch leaves me without two weeks slip, notice. She might slip and fall. <laughs> she, she might try to sue the company. She, I, I got to replace her just in case. She leaves the company. And that's what women don't understand. It's, it's a shortage of men. You don't have a lot of options. That's why a guy like Jerry can live. I, I, Jerry, are you a part of any, like, um... Cults. A, any, not cults, but any, um... I know what you're saying, though. Not a cult, but like a, um... What do they call it? Like a, a, like a group. Like, are you a part of any, any, any sex groups or anybody yeah, that, that, that lives like you live? No. I know. My, we've talked to some people online. But uh, we're never, we're not really a part of a specific. Jerry's group too or... busy. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> no, but let me tell you. No, but think about it. he's doing it with like no role model. He's doing it with like nobody to to, to tell him how it was done. How old are you, Jerry? How old are you? I'm forty. All right, forty. Yeah. When you when this is so interesting. At what? Because we all live the same life. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you didn't start off in the tenth grade as like I'm gonna do this. No. At what was the point? What was the like for me? Um. It, it was already always there, but Brazil had this thing where I go, wait a minute, this is this is like the epiphany, this is the epiphany time. So I'm asking you, 
about the epiphany time. When I had an epiphany, it was when I went to Brazil, I was in my regular, because I used to be a serial monogamous, meaning I would just go from woman to woman and make her my girlfriend. I would always have a girlfriend. And what I, what I said to myself, I, I got into the same thing with this last chick. I went to Brazil, and I just met the chick, and then I went to Brazil. And I was like, wow, I, I feel great. Like I Even though I'm paying for this pussy, I feel like... These these women, man, are selling me what I want to buy. You know what I mean? They are selling me what I want to buy. I'm, I feel free. I feel like I don't have to be a pimp. Like meaning I don't have to have mind games. And and these women are gorgeous. And I found myself wanting to fuck them less. That I would hang out with them and, and was being happy. So basically, when I came back, I said, you know something? I'm never gonna put myself in a position to not be happy ever again. And that was the time where I had that that thing that swept over me where I'm saying, you know what, I'm going to live like this. Now, what what was the moment where you said, I'm going to live like this? Okay. The history lesson is, and, and a lot of guys will, will you know, and you've, got, you've talked about this even tonight, is, uh, you know, getting screwed over or fucked over by a girl. And I got fucked over by two girls, you know, one right after the other because I was stupid. And I went in there, and I was like, oh, I love you. And, you know, I had a chance to own my own business. And, so, and she said, no, you got to stay home with me and all this other shit. And then she fucking left me. And I was like, what the fuck was that? I was a nice guy. I was a sweetheart buying flowers every Valentine's Day. Now I go buy your own flowers. And <clears throat> let me tell you something. Now, any women who are listening and any square guys who are listening, you got to understand that, you can't look at that like and go, oh, that's what it is. He's a He's jilted injured. guy. No. He felt like that before he got fucking hurt. We feel like that before. Let me tell you something. I used to be a poetry writing nigga or oh, whatever yeah. writing nigga. I used to do a lot of shit to get pussy, dude. Yep. And and it was like I would give them the power of... The, of pussy, I would make pussy like so powerful in my life that I'm like, wait a minute, I'm better than this. I am not gonna like put myself in a position to go. Oh, I love you, movie. I found that being a dick, and let me tell you about this is go back to the word bitch. Why I say it? It doesn't mean anything to me. It's just a belief system. It's just to say to myself, I can say bitch, and I believe in it. And I'ma see if I can have you like get mad at it, and I stay stand. I stand firm on it. He believes in what he's doing. It took a minute, but he said, yep. "You know what? People go, this guy's a lying motherfucker." I'ma tell you something, dude. No, you not. go, nigga. I'ma, I'ma, and it sounds arrogant, but he, it's a belief system. He believes in it to a point where he's like, the girl's like, he sent two girls down and gonna fuck another one. Yeah, shut the fuck up. It happens if you believe it. Trust me. Real. The word bitch to me is not it's nothing to me as as except for this. It's and just I, go ahead. And I think he talked about it before, Patrice Man, because I was like I was a pussy motherfucker. I I mean I remember the last time We all are my, my last girlfriend when before I got married and I was crying like a motherfucker. I don't know why she left me, I don't know why she left me. You know, and then why? I just, who, where, why, yeah, how? You know, and and then I just it something just that was my epiphany. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing, man? Sitting you know? here crying you like know? a bitch, yeah. curled up in the corner you know, in the I'm fetal like, position over then, over what? That's the thing. Over what? What do like you it. really mean? If yeah. let me ask you a fre question, fellas. If your girl left you, right? What would you really miss about her? What would you really miss about her? What? What she what her funny jokes? Yeah. Her her what? The the way she talks to you when you don't want to talk to her? You miss the routine. That's what you miss. You miss the routine of what? Just hanging out together, going out, the things that you do together every day. You miss <laughs> that cuz you no. you find yourself no, sitting know. alone. No, you, uh, we don't have a problem. We, 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 no problem. That's what, that's that's what, what you, you miss. We miss. That's well, what I you miss. That. That's what a woman misses. We don't miss your routine. That, that's what I'm saying. There's no... So, let me say, I... So why are you sitting I'm, home sad? You he sitting... Said exactly, said, but that's why? my question. That, okay. You miss All right. Hey, hey, Jerry, when you yep. was crying in the fetal, yep. what were you crying... I say, and this is my theory, but I'm going to ask you, it's the... Uh, to me, it's the, it's the arrogance and the ego that you thought the bitch was yours. 
right. It's like, it you know what it's what like? It it's like possession. I said, it's like possession. it's possession. I got five well, watches that, and four of them I don't wear, right? But you Ever. can't take one but of them. But if one, if a nigga steal my watch, I'm going crazy. Right. So it's like you got three bitches and you a piece of shit. Right. Fuck it. Right. And you lose one of them bitches. And you mad at them. Your ego's like, oh, oh you man. feel your ego is damaged. Yeah, that's how I feel when, me, when if a girl leaves you and you hurt. But let me ask you, Jerry, when you was in the fetal position, how what when you look back to about it, what did you miss when you was in tears and in pain, and what did you miss after you fi when you figured it all out and up to this point reflecting. What did you miss when you reflect on her, and what did you miss at the time when she left you? You understand the question? Oh, no, not really. What, what you did you think? To? Okay, what did you think you missed when you when she first left you and you was hurt? Well, I thought I was in love, and I thought I, you know, missed, you know, hanging out with her and all that shit that the girl was talking about. And and, dude, that's not what I miss. You know, what I, I what, what did you miss when you when you reflect when in retrospect? What did, what were you crying over? Mostly just getting laid. You know, just getting laid. Ain't that, I'm, I'm telling you, ladies, you it's think impressive. you think it ain't that important. You think pussy not That's that important. Part of the routine is, me, is no, pussy. I didn't miss the yeah, routine. Yeah, pussy's not a routine. If you were getting it every night, now suddenly she's gone and you don't get it. That's part of your routine. What goofy guy gets it every night? When it, this is that's another thing, y'all. When y'all use pussy as a as a, a means a of a weapon, yeah. do you are you gonna give your weapon to the enemy every night? You're going to hold it off and make him <laughs> suffer. What is this what I'm saying? Patrice, <laughs> there, have been, there have been times. Listen, listen, there have been times when I've had both women and two other women on the side and still not gotten pussy every night. Say that, 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 that one more time. Four, I had four my wife. Yeah, I have four chicks and all not, at one time. And, not and still laid. not gotten pussy every night. That, that's just not... Like you said, that's just not, it's not going to happen. You're just not going to get pussy every night. No. That's just not going to happen. It's not the routine. It was no, it's it's ego, down. man. Plus, it's they, start, they start cycling <laughs> Jerry, where's your, where's your girl at now? What's, what's going on? Where they at now? <laughs> They're in the other room listening to this conversation. Really? Let me, can, can you get them on the phone? Let me talk to them for you. Hi, ladies. Yeah, girl, <laughs> pick up the phone when you hear this. They're a little behind in the delay. Hey, let All me right, tell you something. Tell them to turn the radio down, too. Yeah, and turn the radio down. Um, you got to go get the other phones, girls. Oh my God! My dick just got on. Girls, nigga, I think I'm gonna fuck Jerry just to just to know what it's like. Nigga, he's like girls, and you hear him? He's not like yo, bitches. Get the motherfucking phone if I choke one of y'all, girls. Let me tell you something else, okay? Call some girls too, coochie coo. This is the other thing about my life, and and Patrice, you know I'm honest as fucking day is long. Yeah, yeah. I I have sent both of them out, my wife and my girlfriend, to go fuck other guys. Well, that's what you have to do. You See, that's do. that's the key. That's where that's where you learn. Look at da look at Danny's face. Because that's the one thing I, out of everything I've heard tonight. That's the one thing I can't I can't wrap my mind around. It's, like, it's, how, it's, how, it's ego. How do you send your girl out? It's the ego. To fuck some other let me, dude. Let me ego. ask you a question, do, Danny. Do you have something of value to you? Whatever, go. That really you don't give a fuck about. But but but, but it's it. yours and it means something to you. But you really don't. It's no. You get it gets no attention. It gets no. Like it's a possession. You know, if right, somebody, you know, you know, like when a, when a kid has a uh, gets a dog, but he don't walk him. He don't spend time with him. But then you say, look, I'm getting rid of your dog. Then he goes, no, no, don't, don't. I please. love my dog. Right. I, I I got it. I got it. Danny, you have to send your girl out. With the confidence that you know that after she fucks some other guy, she's coming back to you. You got her mind. That's it. <laughs> Look at Danny. Danny's like, I can't No, I, I can deal with that. It's just like... It, it just, takes practice. Because in, in your head, you're like, I can't believe... At least I would be like, I can't believe that my girl is fucking some other dude right now. And that I wouldn't be able to... I wouldn't be able to <laughs> relax. No, <laughs> Jerry. I was hey, Jerry. That, mind. Knowing that your seven-inch dick is getting pumped away <laughs> by some nine-inch monster. <laughs> and your girl's like, oh, I didn't know what I was missing. Fucking this loser, Danny. <laughs> there was something. You know what Danny's right of? Here's what it is. Wait a minute. Stop the presses. <laughs> <laughs> you think... That another guy's gonna expose your faulty fucking. Like, <laughs> like, that's what it is. Is you think there's another guy? I'm gonna tell you one story of my girl that bugged me about her fucking What's another guy. Thing? Is a is a. Oh. She said she said she fucked this rapper. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna oh, be yeah, nameless. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And she said, 
I, she said I'm the best sex she's ever had, but she had another guy who I know is the best sex she ever had because she's talking to me. Mm -hmm. All right? So she said that he's the only guy that when he was fucking her made her have to pee on herself. <laughs> and when he was fucking her, he said while she had to pee, she said I had to get up and go pee. And he said, I don't give a fuck if you piss. Just keep pissing. He kept fucking her. And, he, and she was crying. And she was telling me the story. And my stomach, not, I almost threw up. I think my kidneys went into failure. <laughs> I think my liver fell out. When she's saying this guy is fucking her till she peed on herself. And I, and I said, you know what it was? Uh, Here's what made me mad. Because I can't fuck her till she pees on herself. <laughs> I don't have a pee dick. So this nigga was packing enough to fuck with a bladder. <laughs> and Danny's scared and the nigga's no. gonna fuck his girl's bladder to shreds. <laughs> but that's why I go out and I try to actively uh, try to embrace another guy fucking the shit out of my girl and hopefully my mind game can overwhelm his bladder skills. <laughs> right. Bladder, bladder beating skills. I remember something you said and it was to the effect of you, 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 you know, a, a guy who lost his, you know, he's like 35, he had a 21 year old girlfriend and he lost it to another guy thinking his his fuck game was supposed to keep her. Right. And that's not the way it works. You can't keep a girl, a 21-year-old girl with your fuck game, especially if you're 35. It, it, I mean, Jerry's 40. He can't keep this going with his fuck game. He's 40. So he has to keep it with a mind. Like, girls, that's not dick. Girls, get the phone. Girls, <laughs> that's not dick. Right. It's something that's else. It's leadership. It's like, this chick's like, this nigga's a winner for some reason. That's why I got to keep my girl thinking she's a... I got to be better than a nigga fucking her bladder to shred. And I got mad, nigga. I was like, oh! <laughs> like, in my head, like... <laughs> bitch got to pee on herself. And no matter how hard I push my fat butt... No pee is going to, unless I crush her. <laughs> yeah, the punch her, in the kidneys. Crush her, her hip bones. The punch in the gotta, kidneys. I, I got to reach down and start squishing her organs for, for me to make her got to, you understand? Yeah. Man. It's like, it's an ego thing, Danny. It's, it's like you thinking that some guy's just going to be better than you and the fuck, but you got to have her thinking, like a friend of mine just called me and said uh, he was scared to get a dildo bigger than his own dick. And I said, look. What you have to do is have her think. Because any woman can get dick, but she can't get sex, the, the, that satisfying the, the, fucking orgasmic you know, thing. Once you can bring that to a girl, she applies that. Like, if anybody, it's, it's, if Jerry, if these two girls leave Jerry, both of them will be fucked up because they're going to miss what, the, the that, energy yeah. Of like this chick that this new chick my girl brought around and we messed around a little bit and I was I was she was just like she kept saying things to me like why she was thinking because she looked at, I'm a big motherfucker so she's like when she's sucking my nips she's like oh wow he 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 looks at her she looks at her because she's still into my girl so the girl's talking to my girl and she's like well you smell like soap and I'm thinking to myself. What, well, bitch, what am I supposed to smell like? What, you thought I smell like uh, underneath like a whale's arm? Like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like a whale ball. Like <laughs> hot dog water. <laughs> so she's like, wow, you smell. And I'm sucking the titties when my girl went to the bathroom. And she's like, you're so soft. Like, we had a moment. You know what I mean? So she was like, well, there you go. Like, wait a minute, fat boy ain't so bad. And, and then she get into it and then she sees how. So after, if we do that a couple of times, she goes fuck some nigga that could have um a pee, 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 a pee. Dick, you know, a bladder smashing dick, but she's gonna go, man. Yeah, he's he's, he's not, not soft. soft. He don't smell like yeah. soap, and his girl ain't gentle. Oh. And this ain't this sucks. Yeah. Even with giant dick. Here's, here's what happens: a good, a good, a good situation. Like even the magic wand. When he's using the magic wand, yeah. I know guys that I turned on to the magic wand, and they would use it, be afraid to use it. I don't want my girl to be into that. But what she does is she attributes that to item him. to you. She associates she, any sexual activity that makes him. her feel good to him. So that it, the, the, the vibrator is no good without you. This I, Let me tell you something. I've given out magic wands. There has to be at least 400 magic wands floating around the universe. Wow. And, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about, um, I'm talking about af after um, one that, and then she, I, I, I have to say, I it has to be about 400 attributed to me because. Of people you turn And about from. 800 attributed to you. Yeah. Because Dante hit me to the magic wand. I used to be a believer in the uh, pocket rocket. Right. 
then he tribute to the, he got me in the magic wand, so I hit this one in the magic wand, and I know that that one hit somebody to the magic wand, so I must be responsible for 400. Dante must be responsible for 800 with my 400. And I'm going to tell you, some of the chicks still call me because I was the nigga that introduced her to this way of life. So what happens yeah. is why Jerry, why these women cannot leave Jerry is because there's a way of life that they are associated with Jerry. They got to go in, and here's the thing. Women do not introduce what they want sexually to you. You know what I mean? You have to introduce it to them. They can't, they're not just going to go, listen, um, they, I like, you can't I like, say, you can't say, choke me. You, because as a, as the a whole woman. idea of you choking her right. is, is lost because she's telling you to choke you, her. Exactly. So the fact is, she can't, like, what woman now that she, one of these girls leaves and she goes, hey, listen, sweetie, do you think you can find yourself another girlfriend that lives with us upstairs and then also <laughs> go fuck other women and then I go fuck other guys? Huh? <laughs> um, uh... Uh, I, listen, I uh, could, you have uh, to get out of my house, crazy bitch. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. That's why it's easy to have a 10-year thing like that. So, man, it's the tough that's Jerry, it. hey, listen, we're going to go on a break real quick. Stay on the phone, and we're going to kick it to um your, the girls. Okay. <laughs> the girls. Got to run. The girls. I love the girls. <laughs> girls, we're going to be back in a minute, all right? All right. Oh, Ooh, she sounds nice and controlled. Yeah. There you go. Go get me some tea, <laughs> <laughs> even though I'm not there. <laughs> all right, see you in a minute. Hey man, we gotta go right to Alondra, man. This these words I'm reading, this can't be true. Alondra? Thank you. Where's the oh, yeah, oh he, Danny's yeah, the phone guy. Click, the thing ahead, first. click look at Danny, you dirty slave. Click this phone, nigger. <laughs> <laughs> Alondra? Hello. Easy, easy. Oh, Alondra. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry. First of I'm all good. first of all, how old are you? I'm twenty four. 24, so you still got the silicone pack in your pussy that come with the shoes? Like, it's, it's brand new, ain't it? Got that new car That smell. new car pussy. <laughs> that, pine, that pine pussy. Go ahead, sweetie. Go ahead, say your pussy. Speak your piece, beautiful. No, I, was, I had a comment about the guy that was surprised that his girlfriend dicked him over because he had put off, like, opening up a business because oh she said it. I, that he should stay home with her? Yeah. Like, he was a fucking cunt. So how did he not know she was going to dick him over? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a fucking idea. You sound like the you... Woman, than the me. woman is selfish, <laughs> and she was obviously going to dick him over. Any woman that would ask a man to not open up a business to stay at home with her... Are you talking selfish. about Jerry? Yeah. Oh, right, but no, sweetie, time out, time out. See, a lot of women believe that they're different from all the other women. You would do that because let me explain to you. In your jealousy, here's how warped you are. You believe any other thing that takes up your man's time is another woman. If he loves video games, it's like that bitch gears of war. If he loves DJing, that fucking hoe spinning record, that spinning record, you get jealous of anything that you feel is better than you in the relationship. So she didn't. She she knows that. Asking a man not to have a career, not to build his life is wrong. But y'all don't give a shit because that's just your competitive, jealous nature. And it's his fault or any guy's fault for not putting an option. Now, he knew it was his fault. He learned from it. Now, look it. Bitches are suffering. Four or five holes in the house. <laughs> and it's going to happen to you soon, too, lovey lumps. In six years, when you when the when the value of your coochie starts to depreciate, like a Ford Taurus. <laughs> but you sound cute, though, precious. Are you a virgin? No. <laughs> All giggly and shit. What are y'all having a slumber party hitting each other with pillows? Oh, I can now see we got pillows. Jerry oh, I, I can see. I can see fe- little pillow fe- pants, pillow feathers sticking to the pussy. Oh God, you sexy sons of bitches! <laughs> All right, Alondra, um, take you and your goofy bo- voice and finish the rest of the night. But thank you for the call, sexy. And we go to Diana and Callie because she has something to say about what we were saying about the P dick. Hello. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, Diana. Hi. Oh, yeah. I love you. I think you're so funny. But anyway, 
It's Thank not you. true that it was because But not of sexy, though. Me. Shit. I was hoping you yeah, said sexy. The, the size of... Yeah, but <clears throat> I'm not a diss either. But <clears throat> the size of his dick isn't what made her pee. What is it? Just because sometimes we have to pee. And and you get up and you go to the bathroom, but he was just a nasty pig, and it's 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 gross. And I wanted to tell you that... Um, using a vibrator, it makes you come in a different way. If you just use the vibrator, like on your clit, mm -hmm. but I can't, like I can't come with it inside of me unless my my boyfriend is using it. I can't do it to myself. I think it's, I don't know, <coughs> for some reason it doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. So what's the difference between a uh, a vibration orgasm <laughs> and a and a uh, a penetration it's orgasm? The same okay, a if you do it on your internal. clit, it's completely different. It's it's a completely explain different. Explain explain the the explain the difference. Um, I don't know how to even explain it different. It's, um, it is just... Does it does it shoot through your head, or one shoots through your vagina yeah. to your head, or one shoots through your okay, backbone to your to your earlobe? What was going on? The first time I ever actually came with the vibrator, just using that on my just on my clit, it, I got like this. It was amazing. I got this like hot. It was weird. I don't know. It it there's it's two different. There's two different ways. Even the doctors say that. Like I watched that crazy old lady. Yeah, doctor. but we're trying to. <clears throat> we try I don't to know get... how to even explain it. Which one would you rather have? Dig dig uh, 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 a penetration. <laughs> One or a, or a vibrator one? Um, a penetration one, but it, they're they're completely different. But I'm saying which one is so one is e which one, I, is, one is easier to get. Now my girl, we probably had sex. <laughs> so four, four years of the things. So at least 1,600 <laughs> times. Yeah. I think she's had she's come every time, but I think she's had that's my phone and I can't even get to it. We I think we we've had sex about 1,600 times. And I think I've made her have, I can count maybe 30 where I got lucky enough to find the spot for her to have a, a penetration orgasm. I think the rest is, is clitoral because I, I eat the pussy, but, I, but it's, and I remember how she gets where she, I know she's going to have a, pe a penetration one. She'll choke me, <laughs> right? She sits on top. She'll choke me and, and to, to not move. Like I've never, I don't, I think I've never made her come she moving my it. ass. She, she goes, it. sit there, fat boy, I do and the, I he do goes, the same, I do the same shut up, motherfucker, now. don't move, and she'll crush my larynx <laughs> 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 until she comes, because it's like it's it's that s spot you find yeah, she, in the you thing. Know what's the, Go ahead, the baby. The size of the dick has nothing to do with that either. What size yeah, is your boyfriend? He's not packing, is he? Uh, he has a nice size dick, but it's not. He makes me come like crazy. I never had a guy that made me come. I had to learn how to make myself come when I would do it to guys because they would just want to get, you know, they were guys. How old are you? But he, it's a, how old am I? Yeah. I'm, I'm 26. She's oh, getting there four more years. But, it's, oh, but he, ever since the very, every time we have sex, I have came, uh, except for one, and I was mad at him because I didn't get to. Well, lucky you tend to tend to draw. <laughs> well, good. Have a good. Uh, hey, tell him to bust one for me tonight. <laughs> Thank you for calling, precious. Hey, you know you can get a you can get a, a penetration uh, a orgasm by using if you use your abdomen and press it against the clit and rub your clit against the, the lower abdomen while you're penetrating. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. I'm just trying to stay abdomen and be sexy. It's the lower abdomen, those wall. The <laughs> if you hey, got a gut, it helps too. Hey, uh, put Jerry back on the line, man. We got, put, hey, Jerry, you there? Yeah, I'm here. J are the girls there? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hey, look, girls, does... Is it is it uh, is it is it the dick that Jerry's slinging, or is it the is it the is it the is it the game that he's selling that makes you love him? I think it's both. Yeah, it's definitely the, both. Jerry's slinging enough right. dick to satisfy two of y'all like that. Oh yeah. Oh absolutely. And what and <clears throat> and both have mm -hmm. orgasms every time y'all fuck. Multiple. Yep. Let me ask you. Let me ask you some personal shit here. He is a monster. What's what's the what's the fuck routine? Because his his me and my girl's <laughs> fuck routine is, I fuck her, then I get tired, then I eat a pussy till she comes, then I lay down and she licks my nipples while I jerk off. That's the routine. <laughs> what's what's the what's y'all routine? Like what's the what's the the thing y'all mostly do that you know is gonna satisfy each other? Um. I fuck until they come. And then I do whatever I want. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? What's the whatever you want? Fucking film. Uh, it varies. 
It varies. Like whatever. Doggy style, on top. Oh, you ever have one lick your asshole and another one get the balls? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. my God, you dirty <laughs> fucking Jerry. Somebody ought to just shoot you in the head. <laughs> like, ass, both of them in the ass, banging yeah, them like both the in the ass. ass. Uh, really? And then, oh, like, yeah. do, ne- now, neither one of you, the girls, y'all neither, y'all don't look at each other like, wait a minute, you gave her ten pumps. And I only got no. six. No, no. It's just like Not whatever. Anymore. It's very spontaneous. No. Oh, it, it used to be a little bit. Now, who had the biggest problem when it first ha- happened? Did y'all like? Okay, wait. Here's a better question. Was there ever a time where either one of you were like, I'm out of this fucking shit. What am I doing? I'm better than this. Because it sounds like you you're done. You've been conquered by yeah, the yeah. feeling to like, I'm better than this. What's the what's what was what was that feeling like? And now and then, what made you guys just go? You know what? I'm this I'm really digging thing. on this. Well, it, we you work it out the same way you work out any relationship, whether it's a, a yeah. two-person relationship or a three-person relationship. It all works out the same. Right. It, you work at it just like any other relationship. Jerry, this is why you're important to me. You're important to me because you have a relationship with two women, and that's what I'm... If Jerry was just a swinging guy, I, I'd be like, all right, I'm done with Jerry. But Jerry has a relationship, and that's what I want. I want... My girl, she's 32, going on 33. I want us to have a little tenderloin as our girlfriend. I want a girlfriend. And that's one. I'm, that's something I'm having trouble doing. I want another chick to be walking. I was so happy the other day that I'm just having two girls tiptoe around, around the house naked, naked dude. It's so, it was so sexy. And, like, I don't really want to have sex with both of them. I want to have sex with my girl because of... You know, I want because we're comfortable. But that the fact that there was another little twenty-two year old just skating around the crib, sitting down, just to like, cause like I said, sex, sex, sexuality or being sexy ain't the thing for me no more. It's like if I walk out and get myself some um, diet Kool Aid, you know, some um, some uh, 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 crystal light like. grape, right? <laughs> and I see some naked twenty-two year old just sitting down eating cereal. On my couch, oh, watching morning. The Wire, and I just go, hey, sweetie, hand me my shoes. And I just walk back, you know, she's just there, her pussy's on my couch. Like, and I just walk in, my girl is in the other room, and we watch TV, and we go, hey, other bitch, um, come here. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just, it's unbelievable, man. I'm very, I'm very, it's Jerry. You you the man, dude. Jerry's got a lot to tell you. Oh, he's the man. I want Jerry to call in. Anytime we do Black Phillip, Jerry, you make sure you call just to tell us what's going on. Gonna get Y'all going to fuck tonight or you you, you just going to chill? No, we're chilling tonight. Yeah. Did, uh, you just gonna, you going to chill out? What you going to watch? What do you mean? Just hanging? Just you watching TV or just whatever? Nothing? Oh, yeah, we're just watching TV. Yeah. Just sitting there watching TV whatever. with two vaginas oh, and four titties. <laughs> Jerry, you piece of shit. My friends at work say that, too. How do you leave the house? I don't know how you leave the house. It's yeah. just, oh, but but it's just bad stories, though, in stereo. <laughs> you want to know what happened to me today, Jerry? Ugh. <laughs> I don't know what happened to either one of you bitches. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, Jerry, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to talk to you next time, man. Give me a, right, give me hey, a MySpace listen, shout or something. The truth, of the, part of, the truth of the matter is that sometimes it's better that to have two of them because, like I said, then there's, you know, those two go downstairs, and even if I don't bring another girl in the house, when I need me time, they keep to themselves and they go watch, you know, chick flicks or something like that. That's beautiful, dude. And, and he hasn't done that. We're going to, we're going to, you got to MySpace me so I can get you to come in one of these days so we can just all chill out. Yeah, see we got to work. Because you sound like a corny looking motherfucker. Like you, you don't sound like a sexy nigga. You sound like a no. goofy fuck. You sound like you got one of those those black white guy afros, like half curly, and is no, and is receding no. a little bit. No. No. <laughs> I don't want to know what you look like. I want to see you one day. All right, man. So I'll talk to you later, dude. Um, let's run through some shit. All right, uh, Doug in Brooklyn. Doug, what's up? Hey, what's happening? How are you, sir? You love and you respect your wife. I do, I do. Okay. She does what I tell her. Yes. And uh, I don't know that she needs to know any of the secrets of the man game. Hey, real quick about Jerry, though. Uh, You know, the only way I think he makes it work is he's sitting there between two probably husky women. uh, You know what? That's a fair fucking... I did not get into how they look. That is a fair... Jerry... No, we did last time. Jerry, do you... They were hot. Do you hear this piece of shit, Doug? Challenging my yeah. friend Jerry, but J- Doug, you got a good point. They might be two horrifying messes. 
they might be one might lost the left arm and other might lost the right arm, <laughs> and together they just make a whole bitch. <laughs> hey, you're, 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 they need you're, each other to play the guitar. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a man of the world. I'm sure you spend a little time in the Bay Area with the hot tubs and the power exchange, and maybe a little bit of Vegas. So uh, wait a minute, wait, wait, you've Doug. Seen the swinging lifestyle. Is this a, the show's getting ready to get over? Yes, that's it, Doug. <laughs> Doug, call in next time, man. We're gonna find. We'll keep you posted on when this shit's coming out again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not having time to recover, you already ran into him. It's not your last drama lover, you lock yourself with them. Settle down on your feelings, you don't need to run anywhere. Take a deep breath, you should love yourself. All you have to do is love yourself. You should love yourself. You should love yourself. You should love yourself. You should love yourself.